Hey guys, welcome to One Kitchen. I'm Julia. In Denmark, we have a meatloaf, meatloaf, meatloaf called Græsk Fastball, which is translated into Greek meatloaf. It probably has nothing or only less to do with Greek food. So yeah, it's just what we call in Denmark. So today, I have some delicious Græsk Fastball inspired snacks or Greek meatloaf inspired snacks. They are so delicious. It is some puff pastry filled with some beef, feta cheese, onions, garlic, parsley and some rice. It is so delicious. Such an easy snack but you can also easily have it for dinner than just a pasta salad, potato salad or just a nice green salad on the side. It's up to you but let's just try it. In a bowl I already have some minced beef, then I just add in some already cooked rice and I just let them cool down completely. In with some chopped onion and garlic, chopped parsley, one egg, salt, pepper, And then I'm just going to use a glove and just really mix it all well together, kind of almost kneading it together. And then last but least, in with all of my feta cheese and just mix it in. Be careful not to crush your feta cheese too. I have meatloaf mixed enough for two sheets of puff pastry, so I will of course use two sheets of puff pastry, but I'll just show you guys how to make one sheet of puff pastry because there's no reason to show you guys twice. But I have one sheet of puff pastry here and I've just turned it so I'm going to use the short side of the puff pastry and then I'm just kind of shaping a sausage out of my meatloaf mix alongside the side of the puff pastry. Just brush the puff pastry with some lightly with egg and roll this bad boy up. I'm using half of my puff pastry sheet here to one long thick sausage. Then cut it off. And do the exact same thing with the rest of the pastry. Then I'm just going to use a fork to close them. And then cut each sausage into five big pieces. And what I have to do now is just to do the exact same thing with a sheet of puff pastry. 
My oven is already at 180 degrees C convection oven or at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit convection. I have placed 10 of these bad boys on a baking sheet with the parking paper on. Just going to cut in the top of the mold with a little knife, then brush with more lightweight egg and sprinkle over some sesame seeds. and then do the exact same thing with my other baking sheet. Bake these two sheets in the oven for around 23 to 25 minutes just until they have a beautiful golden color and they look nice and crispy and done. Just take them out and let them cool for about 10 minutes before you save them up. You can also ease the Put these in the freezer and just take up whenever you need a nice snack and just heat them in the oven. They are also very delicious cold. Let me taste one of these goodies. Beef to get a little onion, garlic, parsley, rice, and then the feta cheese. It just goes so well together and that crispy puff pastry outside. Mmm, give these a go, guys. All the ingredients are down below, as always. Don't forget to subscribe here so you don't miss out on any videos. Bye!